What is up YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys aren't a subscriber already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Today I'm out here in San Antonio, Texas. You guys know that I'm a Texas guy and we service the entire Texas area. I mean, I'm talking Dallas, Houston, Austin, San Antonio. I have all the territories covered between like Mansfield, Waxahachie, all the way out to Tyler, Texas. So if you're anywhere in Texas, make sure to reach out and show your support. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. We have all the industry leading manufacturers from very entry level budget friendly options to extremely high end and we do ship throughout the entire nation and just to name off a few other states that we're now servicing we got florida georgia oklahoma louisiana we have colorado we have california washington um, we have virginia maryland dc we have uh, connecticut we have uh, the list just goes on and on and on. New York, New Jersey, you guys know I've been out there a lot recently with the Wired Ninjas. So we're just on this journey to put a home theater into every single home in America and we can't do it without y'all support. Well, I hope you guys are ready for this home theater walkthrough. This is a 5.1.4 Dolby Atmos system and we got a 133 inch screen, screen innovations up here on the wall, ALR screen with a Panamorph, we got Lumigen uh, processing the whole thing, JVC RS2000, it's just a killer system. I can't wait to show it to you guys. All right, let's get into it after the intro. Welcome back guys. I'm super excited to walk you through this theater. I'm going to show you through the whole space and you got to subscribe to the channel because we're going to do demos on this system and I'm going to break out in micro videos some of the complexities of this advanced equipment that we have in this room. So I'm going to run through models real quick but whenever we do these micro videos I'll break down like for example what that Panamorph lens actually does in detail and what the Lumigen processor is doing and things like that so subscribe to the channel guys all right let me flip this camera around so check it out I know you guys are always wondering about room dimensions and half the time I forget so we are running 14 feet across and we are 18 feet back that is the dimensions of this room. And we have 10 foot ceilings. This is a 133 inch screen. We're sitting about 14 feet, 14, 15 feet back to the seating area. You can see it's a very nice setup here. Appropriate viewing distance. This is a 240 screen, and he did do the medium bezel on this screen. So with screen innovations, you can get any aspect ratio you want, any size that you want, and you can get any bezel size that you want. So uh, a lot of different options, including any type of screen material that you'd like. So they have a really wide variety of screens but we try to stick with the 4k and 8k screens that are 8k ready because the 8k ones are going to future proof you a little bit further this is the slate 1.2 this is an alr ambient light rejecting screen and then the next step above this would be the black diamond screen but you can also get away with like their standard pure white and pure gray materials that are a lot more affordable for dedicated home theater this guy wants to be able to have his buddies over, view the image, and not have it completely pitch dark in here. So he went with ALR. Let's go to the projector. So this is the JVC RS2000. And you guys know, if you've been following our channel, there is no surprise that we love us some JVC. It's just the best projector on the market, honestly. And until something better comes out, we won't be selling anything else or recommending it as our top choice. 
We do have the Sonys and we also have Epson. We carry all the industry leaders, but it's because we believe in them. But JVC is definitely my favorite, especially if you're going native 4K, bang for your buck. So what's this big thing here on the front? This is called a Panamorph lens. Here's the manufacturer right here. This is a high-end lens and a lot of people say, Zach, that thing is absolutely absurd in cost. It's $8,099, so $9,000 retail. Same thing with that projector. So that's an $18,000 setup. It's pretty pricey. Now you guys got to call in you know that we are very competitive and we itemize all our quotes, so we'll get you set up. What's this here on the top? That is a fine adjust projector mount from Strong. And again, if you've been watching our videos, this is one of my favorite mounts. It actually has a micro adjustment there on the back. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Let me turn the light on. No, he has a cover on it, but there's these little knobs that you basically just tweak oh, one little tiny click. It's like a gear system in there. And whenever you're aligning your projector, it just makes it a breeze. So I'd highly recommend you guys are reaching out and talking with our audio video consultants that you ask about that mount. It's not the most expensive. It's definitely not the cheapest, but it's the best. And it holds huge projectors like this JVC. So this JVC is native 4K. What that means, guys, is that it's actually going to give you the full image quality that you would expect nowadays for full HDR. And a lot of the competitors that are cheaper, like the Epsons, you know that we sell a lot of the Epson uh, 4050s and the 6050s, we have the 5050 also. Those are great projectors and they advertise 4K on them. Well, you can't always just look at the label and see 4K and think, okay, um, apples to apples, that's not the case. The Epsons use something called 4K E-Shift, which is basically just flashing the image four times at a rate so fast that you can't detect it or you don't notice it. But the JVC is going to give you denser pixel resolution and it's actually shooting that native 4K signal right out of the lens. And then in addition to that, you can't even compare this next to like an Epson because it has this lens on there. And what this lens does is further improve. It utilizes the, the full spectrum basically like you know with a 16 by 9 image i'm trying to explain this in layman's terms guys because we always get questions on this as many videos as we've made it's still it's very difficult to explain so whenever you have a 16 by 9 screen you know how you have the top and the bottom um, bars or let's use this as an example you're watching a movie on your television right and in your living room which is a standard 16 by 9 screen you watch a movie and you have black bars top and bottom well with a setup like this you're not going to have bars top and bottom this lens is utilizing those extra pixels that would typically be up top and bottom and it's redirecting it basically funneling it all into just the center of the screen so you're gonna fill the entire screen all the time using all the pixels that this projector has to offer. And in addition to that, it makes it a lot brighter too, which is great because this is a Slate 1.2 ALR screen, which is naturally with ambient light rejecting screens gonna make the image a little bit darker. So when you combine <laughs> the ALR screen with the RS2000 in a Panamorph lens, it is beautiful, <laughs> to say the least. So we're gonna fire it up and I'll show it to you guys. I am recording in 4K, so you'll be able to see the image quality is absolutely unbelievable. I've had many customers compare this setup right here to an OLED TV, like straight up. <laughs> now, this is a screen, I'll give you an up close shot of it. Screen Innovations, I'm proud 
to offer to you guys. It is definitely one of the industry leading top manufacturers for screens. And again, this supports 4K and 8K, so it, he can have this for many, many, many years to come. I always tell customers that they're dating the projector, but they're married to the screen because it's gonna last a lot longer than the projector. Now, a setup like this, he can get 10 years out of it, no problem. But a lot of my customers that are trying to keep the budget down, I say go with a nice screen, and then later down the road, you can get like an Epson now, and later down the road, as technology becomes readily available, you can always upgrade, and your screen's ready to go. So, bezel sizes. I kind of talked about this in the intro, guys. You got small, which is, you know, like this. You got medium, and they even sell a large and they also have color options available. This is the black velvet frame, which is our best seller for sure, um, but you can get this in Ferrari red if you wanted to, which is really cool that Screen Innovations offers that. And then in addition to that, I'll try to show you here on the back, LED kit. So for all you guys that ask about, can I put an LED kit on a normal screen? The problem is, is a normal screen, it doesn't sit off the wall like this to where this, the LEDs can be fired towards the wall. A normal screen is, it goes 90 degrees right towards the wall. Whereas these screens are designed specifically for this, for the LEDs to fire onto the wall and give you that glow, which looks really cool. It's like a wow factor. So that about sums it up. On the screen, this is a Screen Innovations Slate 1.2 gain 133 inch screen, 240 aspect ratio with the medium bezel and the backlit LED kit. All those details are really important because when you're talking with our sales consultants and they're putting together the quote, all of those little things are gonna make a difference in the overall cost of the product and everything is totally custom. Now, they do have preset um, quick build options. So like 133, 120, 110 are all, they build them and manufacture them quicker. Whereas say you wanted a 134 inch, that's going to take them a little bit longer. So you can get any size you want. Like say you have a really big wall or maybe a small wall and, or a, like a cutout in your wall and you need an exact size, like 148. We can get that for you with Screen Innovations, but it is gonna take a little bit longer. So that's a wrap on the screen. Now, speakers. These are the SVS. And in particular, we have the Ultra Bookshelf speaker. This is a ported speaker in the black ash finish. You can also get these in gloss finish. You guys know that we've been big SVS fans for a long time, and we do ship throughout the entire nation on all the products that we sell, guys. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. Give us a shot. So on the subwoofer, we have the PB3000. This is a ported speaker as well. Ported subwoofers, everybody's always wondering whether to go ported or sealed. Ported subs are gonna give you more bang for your buck, literally. Um, they're gonna move a lot more air, but they're gonna, they won't be as tight. So a sealed sub is gonna be a little bit tighter, but ported is gonna be more boom overall. But this is a massive sub and really hard hitting. You guys will hear it here soon in the demo. As far as components inside, well, we got the, the same thing going here, the Ultra Center, the Ultra Bookshelf on the left. So this is our front sound stage. I'll finish that off before I get into the components. And then here at the back of the room, SVS as well. And the model is the Ultra Surround. And this is a bipolar speaker. So for you guys that aren't familiar with the different types of speakers, that's a two-way up there on the left and right, and then you got a three-way center, LCR. And then these are specifically designed for surround sound. So you would never use a surround sound speaker for a front speaker. It's this application. And really, it's for better dispersion throughout the room. So especially since he's only running a five-channel system, a 
bipole is a great solution because it's going to be more immersive in this back area. Now you can see he is wired for seven. Um, so maybe in the future he does upgrade. I know the AVR is a Denon 6700. So in the future, he definitely has the ability to upgrade, which is nice. And I think he even has a sub termination back there in case he wants to make it a, like a seven. He's probably going to end up going for a 7.2.4, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, but for surround speakers on our five channels, it's all SVS Ultra. So next are the in-ceiling speakers. You can see we have them slightly in front of the primary seating area and we have it slightly behind the primary seating area, which is correct for Dolby Atmos spec. And these speakers are not SVS. Unfortunately, SVS does not make an in-ceiling speaker. They have their elevation speakers that can hang on the ceiling, which are great and all, but people don't really like the aesthetics of it and I don't blame them. Um, so a lot of our customers will go with in-ceiling and we have a lot of different options to choose from. Um, these are Sonance, I believe, but we also have Episode and Elac and Focal and a bunch of different options available. And you can also just mount the SVS elevations to the ceiling. So that's our speaker configuration. You guys let me know if I'm being too long in this video. I can never tell. I always try to do short, quick ones that are all energetic. And then I try to do some that are, I give more detail. It seems like you guys like the detail. So I'm going to keep giving it to you unless I see comments to say to cut it out. <laughs> so I didn't give you guys an up close shot of the ultra center, but it is a very nice looking speaker. Nice three way design. You can see he has his Apple TV down there. And then in here, he has the Lumigen Radiance Pro. And then he has an Xbox down there. So the Lumigen Radiance Pro, let's talk about this a little bit. I'll just go ahead and go ahead and sit down because that's about everything for this room. The Lumigen Radiance Pro. Now, this is a very high-end product as well. So he has some, some pretty unique stuff in this room, which is why we're highlighting it. And I'll make a separate video on the Radiance Pro and the Panamorph DCR lens and the RS2000 and show you how it works because that's what everybody wants to know. Um, but that, that Radiance Pro, not only is it calibrated by Chris Deering, who is known as the number one calibrator in the country. And he is part of our preferred installer network as well. So whenever you guys reach out to us and you're interested in purchasing your RS2000, a Panamorph DCR lens and Lumigen Radiance Pro, we're gonna hook you up with Chris Deering. And he's gonna take care of everything for you. I mean, this guy has been programming and calibrating projection systems and TVs and audio systems his entire life. And like I said, is known as the number one calibrator in the country, which is why I'm happy to have him on our team. You know, here at Dream Media, we're always striving for excellence and we want to deliver that to you year after year. So having Chris on the team is, is a big plus. Um, but Basically, he's going to program that thing to maximize the potential of your projector and make sure that whenever you get it hooked up in the room, our preferred installer comes out here to physically hook it up, or maybe you want to DIY it. He takes into account the dimensions of the room, the screen type, the screen gain, um, your viewing distance, the uh, wall color, the ambient light in the room, and sets up presets um, to make sure that your projector is calibrated the absolute best that it possibly can. And that Lumigen Radiance Pro is really top level, guys. Um, now, the other really big selling feature to the Lumigen Radiance is the auto aspect ratio switching, which is like butter. You know, it's, it's the biggest downside to using a 
235 or 240 wide screen with a projector that just has motorized lens memory, which is really cool with <laughs> motorized lens memory. I might be going off the deep end here for you guys, but I'm trying to educate you as much as I can. Um, with the motorized lens memory, it's great and all. You can toggle between one preset and another and it's gonna switch, you know, it'll move, but it takes time. And when you're in 16 by nine, it's bleeding onto the wall and whatnot. Whereas the Lumigen is auto adjusting constantly because I mean, let's be honest, aspect ratios are changing as you pull up your guides and you, you know, even throughout some movies, you'll see it switch in the middle of the movie. If you have like a 16 by nine screen, you'll see it switch and kind of adjust. Well. With the Lumigen, you're maximizing the potential of your whole setup and staying in widescreen all the time, in a nutshell. That, that's the biggest selling feature, that you never have to touch anything, and it's all the time just filling your entire screen. So really cool stuff. Um, other thing that I didn't really wanna mention is we got the Harmony Pro 2400. We may have just a few left in stock, but we're getting right to the end of our Harmony um, inventory, unfortunately, guys. And I'm sure by the time this video is out, they will be gone. They discontinued them. All of my customers out there that have Harmony remotes and anybody who is purchasing the last batch, Harmony is still going to be offering service on these. So you're not hung out to dry. They're going to take care of their customers and we're going to take care of you guys. Um, but we do have a new solution. We're going to be using UR universal remote control going forward which isn't the same as the harmony it's not quite as DIY but we're gonna make some videos and try to make it as easy as possible for you so um, I wanted to point out a couple more things and then we'll wrap up this video so look up here guys do you see these plates on the ceiling whenever you're working with dream media we're gonna take into account the pre-wired locations but we're also gonna make recommendations to you so in this room here, you can see the speakers are down here at ear level. And for optimal performance, we did not want to put the speakers in the ceiling. And the customer took our advice and it makes a world of difference. If you can put your front sound stage right at ear level, really all of your main speakers, your surrounds right at ear level, it's going to sound amazing. And then you're going to get that separation and channel between the heights overhead that helicopter ripping around and the car screeching around the corner down at ear level so i wanted to point that out so that you guys could see that we really did um, consult with the customer and we do on every single project to maximize the potential of you all systems all right you can see in this room there aren't any acoustic treatments and there is just a little bit of echo so i want to let you guys know that we are now offering Vacoustics Acoustic Treatments, which is a very premium acoustic treatment company. Now they have very, very high-end acoustics, but also we had them customize some packages for us. So we have very affordable options, starting as little as $3,000 for a whole acoustic setup. So make sure to ask our sales consultants about that. I'm really excited to offer that because no matter how much money you spend on your speakers, if we don't put some acoustics in the space, you're not gonna maximize the potential of those speakers. So we don't wanna over dent in the room. So we offer not only uh, diffusers and absorbers but also bass traps pretty much everything that's needed to really dial in that room and make sure those speakers sound amazing for you guys all right guys well that is a wrap on my walkthrough video make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because i'm going to be bringing you a bunch of content demos on this room as well as micro videos explaining a little bit more about panamorph the dcr lens as well as that lumigen processor and we've made some other videos on it too so type into your browser dream media and either panamorph or dream media and lumigen we also had chris deering on the channel um, to talk about it a little bit more so check out those videos and if you guys would like to purchase make sure to reach out and utilize our free consultation service our guys will facetime with you and walk through your space or the entire home if you want to do distributed audio cameras you know we offer everything audio video related for your house so make sure to utilize our free consultation service and our guys they have passion for this stuff just like me they'll be happy to walk through the entire space and we'll find something that fits your exact needs and budget 
All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like to purchase, we ship throughout the whole country. And like I stated earlier in the video, we have a many different territories uh, that we're adding on on a daily basis all over the country. Well, if you liked it, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.